My next guest still gets shout outs for his now classic TV show, In Living Color. Please welcome the first generation of Keenan's Discoveries and a guy who did this show way back in the day. He's so funny, Mr. Tommy Davidson. <laughs> What's up? Let's give it up for President Obama. Got real quiet with the white people. You know? Hey man, white people gotta stop asking us dumb questions when the voting's coming up. Like here's the dumbest question they ask black people at work, you know. So you're gonna vote for Obama just because he's black? Yeah. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm voting. Obama didn't win the presidency because of his politics. He won because of the debates. Come on, he won the first debates because he was freestyling. <laughs> he had nothing to lose. They try to ask him a little question, he just expound on it, don't he? Senator Obama, what do you think about the word it? Well, first let's think about the word it. <laughs> if it means lowering interest rates so that Americans can afford homes and it is plausible and it should work. <laughs> if we're talking about it. If it is too legit to quit, like MC Hammer, any of that old town stuff, then it's legit as well. That could be too pop or too short. Obama say words black people don't even say. Obama say a word that had me at home like in shock. Risks. Say that again, risks. It's like he knows white karate. You know what I mean? He's got all, it's like he can just turn himself, like his feet into a white man's feet. You ever seen him like do the tippy toe move? You know, and, and we're talking about jobs, okay? And we're, we're, we're talking about employment. <laughs> you ever seen him do the back pedal with the karate chop? And, and, and we're concerned about Medicare <laughs> and about insurance. He can stutter better than most politicians can talk. <laughs> when he's stuttering, it sounds like he makes it. And, and, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at these issues. <laughs> we'll make sure that we put, put, put them in perspective. <laughs> Obama can have you at the edge of your seat. Even black people be home like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you ever seen him draw you in real close, you know? I want everyone to look at my finger. <laughs> can you see it? <laughs> now, if you can't see it, I'll put it back here. I want to ask each and every American one question. Where's it now? <laughs> I think you know the answer. Actually, I think we need a black woman president. <laughs> For terrorism. You fight terror with terror. <laughs> ask any white girl who went to high school with black girls who the terror is. She found out the second day of school. What is that? I don't even know you. Black girls are mean. You ain't got to know me for me to whip your ass. <laughs> I want to know why white girls got to know who, who hit them. Who are you? I be like, bitch, run. <laughs> I know her. <laughs> I think we need a white woman president. Hold on, black women, let me finish. <laughs> Brother, say the word white women. Black women, <laughs> say it again. <laughs> I'm not talking about politician, I'm talking about any average all-American white woman walking the streets of America, because we don't know who our heroes are. I don't care where you are, you can be at the Best Buy, CVS, Toys R Us, IHOP. If it's some bull, who step up for everybody? White women are like heroes. You ain't never been in a grocery store 15 minutes, no managers, no cashiers, white women to the rescue. <laughs> they make announcements for everybody in the store. Hello! <laughs> what in the hell is going on back there? <laughs> Son of a bitch! Everybody give it a high five. You're welcome. <laughs> you guys can stay here. I got to go to Home Depot. <laughs> you never been to IHOP trying to get a table on a Sunday afternoon? Impossible white woman to the rescue. <laughs> and I admire white women because they don't just start going off. They do public polls first. You always know a white woman going to go off because she start getting eye contact at everybody real slow. <laughs> She's heating up. She started doing little interviews. How long you been here? 
Yeah. That's bull. Yeah. Hello, help us. And they're negotiators. They can negotiate with the manager. Are you the manager? Yeah. Here, now. <laughs> Primarily, we're just here to get pancakes. Black people love white women, because you know what? They always refer to us, man. No, we've been here like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, this guy 45 minutes. But maybe Shaquanda has been here too long. With her two children, Nikki and Ebony, okay? Ebony's running out of Kool-Aid, for Christ's sakes. That's me, I love you.